This example demonstrates the use of floating point textures to implement high dynamic range lighting. Dynamic range is defined as the ratio between the brightest intensities in the scene and the dimmest. The environment map is stored in a 16-bit floating point cube map. This allows it to represent the full range of light intensities in the scene. We also make use of floating point texture filtering for high performance. We perform a glow effect as a post process. This is how the image looks without the glow, and this is what it looks like once the glow is added. By changing the exposure, we can reveal different details in the scene. Here we show the blurred version of the scene. When the blurred image is combined with the original scene, the result is a subtle glow effect. Older generations of hardware only supported 16-bit integer texture formats. While this is sufficient precision for some images, for images with very high dynamic ranges, the limited precision causes banding. You can see the banding here. This banding is visible when we switch between FP16 and INT16.